the Cake Lady Kids Edition. Um, we are going to be decorating some holiday goodies today, and my kiddos are going to be helping me out. Um, the first thing we're going to be working on is a gingerbread house. Now, I originally had planned to make a gingerbread house from scratch, and I had this really cool recipe, but as everything, time just got away from me, and I did not get a chance to make it. Luckily, my son Braden here, he uh, won a gingerbread house at his youth group Christmas party, right? Yep. Okay. And so we have it right here, the contents. It's your basic kit uh, that you get from the store, but you know what? That works out just fine. It has all the pieces. It kind of simplifies everything for me. I'm sure a homemade gingerbread house would taste better, but you know what? The fun part is just decorating it. Uh, we got some Christmas music going on in the background on Pandora. We've got our Christmas tree all decorated and lit up. So we are ready to get going. So Brayden's going to be decorating mainly the gingerbread house. And then Sophie and I are going to be working on some uh, cookies. We have these old school cookie cutters my mom gave us, uh, which are really cute. We got a snowman. A gingerbread man and a Christmas tree. What else we got? We got a, we oh, we have a, a little gingerbread house. We can make our own gingerbread houses. Um, they make an impression. I've never used these before, but I think the theory behind it is they make a little impression and then you can, uh, you know, kind of use the lines to decorate with. Um, so we're going to have fun with that and um, hopefully you'll enjoy watching us decorate some goodie, some holiday goodies. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs> gingerbread house. The yeah, snowflakes are tasty. The snowflakes are tasty. We've already been kind of snacking on the leftovers <laughs> here. <laughs> Love it. Brayden, what was your favorite part of it? Probably building it. Building it, yeah. Very good. Was it hard? Not too hard. No, you look like you did a really good job. So Thanks. He put Looks icicles good. on it. He put icicles. So while Brayden was um, decorating his gingerbread house, Sophie and I cut out our sugar cookies and we are baking them. We've got one batch out of the oven and we got the last one in. And I just realized I forgot to set the timer, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that clock. <laughs> um, so these, those old fashioned cookie cutters, if you have these, they're a little tricky because if you press them too hard, then the cookie gets stuck in there and it's almost impossible to get it out without breaking the cookie. But so if we you put flour in it, oh, it helps. Yes, we put flour in them. We didn't press so hard down. It still imprinted the cookie dough and it, it worked. So um, that would be my tip. If you're using those kind, don't press so hard down on them and either put some flour in them or spray it with some, um, it's called Baker's Joy. It's basically a Pam, but it has flour worked in there as well. And um, so now what we're going to do is let the co cookies cool, and then I'm going to make some royal icing. And um, if you haven't had a chance to check out the video collaboration I did with um, AKA Our Life, I will put it in the comment section below. Um, check that out. It was a fun video collaboration I, I did with um, some friends of mine, Keith and Abby. And um, they have a great channel, so if you haven't had a chance, check it out. Anyway, we were using just some of the cookie dough we had left over from that video. Uh, the nice thing about the cookie dough, if you wrap it in saran wrap and you store it uh, in the refrigerator, it can keep for about a week or so. Um, so we just had that. We can also put it in the freezer. It'll freeze for about three months. Um, so I didn't have to make any cookie dough, which was kind of nice. Um, so we're just going to go with those cookies and um, we'll do a little bit of decorating here in a little bit. Stay tuned. Okay, we are ready to decorate. We've got our icing made up and I have a few colors. And each kid has picked out a cookie. Brayden, what are you gonna decorate? I'm gonna decorate a holly leaf. A holly leaf, awesome. So if you and wanted... I'm going to decorate a Christmas tree. A Christmas tree, cute. So here are our um, cookies that we did. These are the ones that had the little imprints and they all stayed on there really well. I was impressed with that. So we're gonna get to going. 
kids are pro decorators now. They've decorated several cookies and they're old hats at it, but we're just using regular real icing. I've colored it, I've made it into flood consistency. We've got our bottles ready to go. So, all right guys, grab you a color and get started. <laughs> Not the same color. <laughs> oh well. Well, we have decorated a few cookies now and I think we're gonna sign off. Uh, we still have a few more left to decorate and, and some of them may get decorated and some of them might not. We'll just have to see what happens. And if they don't, that's all right. Well, you can, we can eat them anyway without icing, yeah. right? <laughs> They're still good. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video um, of decorating with your kiddos. And I hope you enjoyed watching my son cross his eyes. <laughs> my kids like to make silly faces. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about that. But anyway, that's kind of what this time of year is all about. Spending time with your loved ones and your family and doing fun little things, making new traditions, um, doing old traditions. And so... I hope you guys enjoyed this. Maybe it gave you some ideas. And I want to just um, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't had a chance yet, please subscribe. Give this video a like. And from my kitchen to yours, Merry Christmas.